I seen it coming. I called it coming and I watched it as you watched me. And so you've seen this pattern that I'm going to describe so that you have context for your life by using myself as an example. And of course, like I said, my favorite subject is myself, but I'm not sharing this with you because of me. You guys, if you've, if you've been a fan, if you've been watching me, you know, come and go for the past 20 years almost, you know that this is true. People have even done documentaries on like, you know, is this guy schizophrenic or something? I, you know, I think what happens, at least what I speculate is that everybody goes through these changes. I happen to be in a, a, a dramatic dude, right? All right. Like in other words, I don't, I'm not afraid to change, right? I'll just make dramatic shifts in the moment. It's not always good. Maybe it is a little pathological, but it's also on YouTube. <laughs> All you gotta do is follow me for the past 12 years or so, or 20 years or whatever, and you'll see. I'm actually gonna go through them right now. Here's, here's a cycle that you didn't see but the tail end of, right? So 2004 to 2016, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very convinced that these cycles happened in 12 years, at least for the individual. Uh, it's, it's exactly what happened for me, and, I, and in retrospect, I discovered that it was 12 pattern, 12 year patterns, right? when I started experiencing it and then I l learned from someone, oh, this happens every 12 years and she showed me how. I was like, oh man, I looked back and I was like, yeah, I remember 24 was a very, very tough time for me. And then I also remember even before I was aware of the pattern that why are all these 24 year olds always hitting me up with their problems? It seemed like the 24 year olds always had the biggest problems. And it makes sense to me now. Well, at 24, I didn't know my ass from my elbow. I didn't know what I was doing. Didn't know where I was going. I just moved to Florida. Let me back up just a moment. We, I just got married. Just had a baby. Well, my wife did, anyway. <laughs> just moved to Florida. Broke. Deep in credit card debt. I had nothing but a lot of, uh, I had a big smile and a lot of ambition. And I had that, that was going for me. Age 27, a light went off. I discovered Strongman. Most of you guys kind of maybe knew me back then, 2012-ish. Uh, by the time I was 30, that's when most of y'all met me. Good old Yo Elliot on YouTube, right? The seeds that were planted at 24 as a young personal trainer started coming to fruition around 30 as a you know YouTube celebrity. And then by 33, I was entering the last phase of that cycle and that's when I luckily you know a lot of people like denigrate me I'm not even gonna get into it but I started talking about king being a king being a king and it was so poetic because it has a lot to do with coming back to the top of the clock and I didn't even know what I was I didn't know about these this archetype of initiation is what it's called the cycle I keep saying cycle but you're gonna learn in a moment that it is an archetype and it's called the archetype of initiation um I discovered from Robert, Robert, Robert Moore, who wrote the book King, Warrior, Magician, Lover that I found around that time, which led me to understanding a lot of what we're going to talk about right now. And the thing that the, the little tangent that I was about to go down <laughs> that I stopped myself because yeah, it's just going to sound like I'm bragging, but I'm just stating facts. It's just been a pattern in my life that I'm the starter. I'm the first guy to do stuff. I'm the pioneer. Doesn't mean that I'm the best guy. Doesn't mean that I'm a guy that's going to finish the race, but I started. And so, you know, strong man, I made popular. And then King, I made popular. Everybody was denigrating me at the time. Why is they talking about being a King? Now you go on Instagram and everybody's calling everybody else King. <laughs> that's just what it is. But I have no, you know, I, I think it's cool. I watch people, you know, take my spark and turn it into a roaring flame. And so I don't doubt myself anymore. So that was the first cycle, right? Up and down, didn't know what was going on. Well, I went into this cycle. This was another a division of 12, the age 36, right? So at 33, I was finishing it up. I was at the peak, King Elliot, everybody loved me by 36, I lost my marbles. Didn't know what was going on. I was like, do I really want to be this? Do I really want to keep going down this route? And I started making bad decisions. Like that's when I started smoking weed. I started smoking weed at 36. Who does that? But it was a process that I was called to. And I'm going to tell you what it's called in a moment. I'm going to give you, there's a name for this, right? And it's either a deliberate takedown so that you can metamorphosize or something happens to you. 
you know, a crisis, but it is a crisis time. Just like age 24 is a crisis time, age 36, generally speaking, this is, the map is not the territory, fellas. Doesn't mean that what I'm saying is exact, but there's a, there's a general, it rhymes, right? <laughs> it rhymes. So you can kind of, you know, see it generally happening. Around 36, is a, there's a crisis, you know? And uh, that's when I started getting weird, grew my hair out. Look at that strange ass hairstyle I did, right? And, uh, you know, smoking weed and just looking like a punk. So that was Hippie Elliot going through catabasis. Then I like to say this is the stage of confrontation. So we had crisis, confrontation, right? Move, and this has everything to do in the archetype of initiation with moving away from the world of the mother. I started what maybe many people started calling me misogynist. People call it MAGA misogynist, Elliot. There's this kid that made a documentary about me. Well, this, it was perfectly timed and perfectly executed and I did it in a very poetic way because that stage, that time, is required confrontation was required for me something woke up in me and i realized the deplorable state that i and most men were in so as the image demonstrates i picked up my gun i picked up my gun and i started firing then we move into the integration phase this was akin to atonement with the father when you're talking the archetype of initiation and this is when i started praying you know uh I started really taking being a father seriously. You could call this Catholic Elliot, right? And it's kind of who you see I am right now. Obviously, we're only in 2023 and, you know, I'm just getting started here, right? Uh, when I say just getting started, I mean like everything's coming full circle. And then you could just only imagine if the present is a good indication of the future, what the next uh, quadrant of the cycle is going to look like for me.